Hello everybody and welcome to another cruise day here on the Carnival Pride in the beautiful Norwegian fjords. Day four already and we are arriving here into the most beautiful port I think I've ever seen in my life. Welcome to Skjolden. Skjolden is a very tiny, small community village here in Norway with a population of less than 400 people. It's a tiny place with not very much to do. However, that is what brings its charm. There are beautiful sights, beautiful hills and mountains, waterfalls, there's wildlife, there's beautiful scenery every single place you look. Hugh described it as every view was a postcard and you'll see exactly why in the upcoming pictures. Every single picture we took could be a postcard you could sell online. It was an incredibly beautiful place and I was just desperate to get off and have a good explore around. We walked up to some of the waterfalls, we walked around sort of tree areas, we went to the little town. You'll see exactly what we got up to on this beautiful day here in Skjolden. I can't believe I got to visit this place and it was certainly the best port for me of this entire journey. Now I hope you'll agree with me that all of those sites were absolutely incredible and really showed the beauty here of Skjolden. And the, all of those pictures, all of that video content was all taken from on board the ship. We hadn't even gotten off yet and we'd already seen all of that. But finally, a tractor pulled us in to uh, get us all roped up and then we got off the ship to go and explore. Greeting us first of all were these beautiful sheep. It was really nice to see um, and gave me a little bit of a smile in the morning as we saw just how rural this place was. As we walked past there, there were these shacks, almost like beach huts across the lake. These could have been rented by tourists and you could stay in them for a week or so if you wanted to come here. Uh, a land vacation, which, let's face it, who wouldn't? 
There's also this lovely little boat inside the lake, which gave me a lot of feelings when I took a picture of it and I thought it was really interesting to see. There's some information about one of the more famous residents here in Skjolden and lots of places to take photos. Ludwig Wittgenstein um, has all the information about him and why he was here. We saw in the distance a lot of these waterfalls and we thought, ooh, do we want to tick something off our bucket list and go and drink water from a fresh waterfall? Of course we did. So that's where we went. We decided to head off and head towards this. Now as we headed past these waterfalls, we stumbled upon a strange statue of a hand. Now there's actually a little button on the hand that starts making strange music and sounds from the hand, which was very unusual. It's modern art after all. But right next to that we found this lovely little campsite that not only had camping facilities and lodges for you to stay in as a tourist, but also had this lovely little cafe and bar. So we decided to wait until it opened because it was quite rainy and we thought it would be nice to stop off, give some money to the locals um, and support local businesses. So we waited and went inside and got a lovely bit of food and drink. We are here in the beautiful location of Skjolden in Norway, uh, the heart of the Norwegian fjords. And here I am at this lovely place. You may be able to see the sign if I move further of Vassbakken Kroen Camping. Uh, so this is a campsite here in Skjolden um, and as you can see behind me here is a lovely waterfall. Now this is about 300 kilometers, um, no that's not right, about three kilometers of a walk, sorry, from the ship and where the ship docks. Uh, most people will head from the ship and go straight into the town center. I say town loosely, it's more of a village or a hamlet, but um, they will head straight there. Ignore where they're going, carry straight on and go towards the uh, walk along the road towards the actual waterfalls. You'll find beautiful pictures. And here, as I say, in the Vassbakken campsite, there's a lovely cafe where you'll be able to have some sweet treats like apple pie or chocolate cake, have some local uh, wines, coffees, beers, and just be able to see how the locals live. And you'll see some photos of that now uh, of where we've been and, and the food we had and the lovely, lovely service that we received here um, in Norway. So. Do try and give some money to the local community. It's a very small place um, and the season for people cruising to the Norwegian fjords is a short time. So when you come here, remember the population of this entire place is about 400 people. That's about two decks of the ship. So it makes a big difference if you can uh, spend some money here and really help these people um, earn, some, earn their living. So yeah, definitely come here. Bass back and crow and camping. You'll find it on Google Maps if you search for it as well. Thanks guys. As you can see, the local cafe was really nice and rustic and they had just a few things to choose from, but they were really good quality. We chose the local apple pie and I wanted to try some of the local wine as well. Both were absolutely delicious and we finished it off with some lovely fresh black coffee. As you can see in the centre here of the town of Skjolden, there's not much of a town to see. 
it's got a small location but it is a quaint to visit and there is a local shop and supermarket so you can go in there buy some sodas to take on board grab yourself a coffee or grab yourself some local confectionery and snacks to take home Skjolda will always be somewhere that I'll have really fond memories of because it's not somewhere where I would ever have thought about going on land. It's somewhere that is a small location that you really do have to visit uh, on a ship or a boat to get the real experience. It's certainly beautiful and the people here were incredibly friendly and very kind. There was lots to see, lots to do and although it wasn't the most active of days, it was certainly one of the most memorable. I hope you'll visit and if you do, please tell me what you thought of the lovely area and of what the people were like here. Hopefully, you'll have better weather. Now, back on the ship, we had Guy's Burgers for lunch, as well as some of the stuff from the deli and the buffet. And then, of course, it was cocktail time. So we went to our favorite bar, the Alchemy Bar, and had some drinks. It was really nice to do, because the drinks here were incredible. Just a brief sample of some of the food we had tonight. We had the roasted broccoli and three cheese soup. We also had the mango cream soup served chilled with vanilla and fresh ginger and some baked meatballs. We also tried the barbecue pulled wild boar which was the rare finds of the evening. I didn't get a picture of all of our mains but we had the salmon kulibiak, the grilled tofu steak and the grilled beef tenderloin. Join us next time for another episode here in the beautiful Norwegian fjords. Stay safe.